If you're ready to change out your dinky mailbox for a mailbox that goes better with your home and give you more curb appeal, then let my handy dandy husband teach you just how to design and build yours. And yes, my wife does have faith in me that I am going to show you exactly how to build this mailbox from the beginning to the end, step by step, and show you exactly how easy it is to build it from the bottom to the top. So here in part three, my handy dandy husband is gonna guide you with crowding, installing the glass blocks, putting the light in, putting the top cap on, and installing the flag. So are you ready? Well then, let's get started. So let's recap. We built the foundation and we laid the block out and put five rows high a block up I hung the veneer stone and now we're going to get ready to do some grounding and install the mailbox insert yesterday we were able to get all the stone put on the column and it was supposed to get down to freezing last night plus it was raining also so we had to cover it all up what we do we just kind of use some odds and ends we have laying around here to, to cover up the to what get this all uncovered and now we're going to see our work that we did yesterday yeah i think we had some plywood underneath to support the plastic away the stone because we don't want the stone being knocked loose until it dries. Okay. Now we got our insert, mailbox insert yesterday. So what we'll do is we'll just set this right in here, right where we want it. And we will set this so that the backing of this of this face plate so the back of it's flush with the stone. And then we're going to even it up side to side. Just kind of even up. I'm going to take a tape measure and actually measure it a little bit later. And then we're going to mix up some more mortar cement and then pour it right down inside here and across the top. And Levi over here, he's mixing up the last bag of sidecrete. And this is what we're going to pour down. All around and set this mailbox insert. Fill up this grouting bag. The helpful tip of putting grout in until it flows easy is to put a little bit of this detergent in your mix and have it just a tad on the wrong side. So what we'll do is we'll just squeeze this in and fill up the Fill up the cavity between the rocks. And you just kind of glob it in there. It doesn't have to, look, have to look pretty. Because when it dries, in about an hour or two, then you're going to kind of take a pointer, which I'll show you that, how that works, and kind of smear it around so it looks nice. Have the top filled in now with the extra mortar that I had and kind of see what it looks like around the mailbox insert I kind of give you an overview of what it looks like you know it's not perfect because all you're doing is just kind of squeezing the mortar in between the stone and then I'm gonna 
wait an hour or so and I'm gonna show you the next step get yourself a trowel now this one here I or not a trowel but a pointer this one here is one that is more for setting block because it has this it has this ridge on it so what I did is instead of spending $15 for a new one I just ground the end down you can kind of see that that way I can get what I want to accomplish and so what we do is you just kind of go in and flatten out the mortar and just kind of kind of pushing it into the cracks see how that looks what it's gonna look like when we're finished is what I got done earlier see how that is because then I'm then I'll let this dry here a little bit more maybe another 30 minutes to an hour because that's probably how long it's going to take me to get this whole thing finished and then we'll take a brush and run a brush over it to make it nice and smooth like this and you can kind of see how it's kind of drying a little bit so now what we'll do is we'll just take a little brush like this I just kind of grabbed it out of my wife's uh, kitchen supplies of course she's not going to get it back now but just kind of go over it and just smooth out smooth out the, the mortar kind of makes it look a little more uniform and then when it dries a little bit more I'll take the another soft bristle brush over it now we're finished grouting pointing and brushing the mortar you can kind of see how that turned out well, you can do the mortar however you like you can do it sunken in further you can do it out flush you can do it whatever your preference is UPS just dropped off three big packages and Levi has the excitement of figuring out what was in it and you guessed it it is all the glass for the top of the mailbox we have the blocks all laid out and I think I have them spaced out the way I like them get yourself some glass block cement from Lowe's and mix that up good and then go ahead and just lay your bottom row on for the glass block. Lay your first block in the corner. Now we have the glass block set and lined up, squared up and now that it's been setting for a couple minutes now we can kind of squeeze some cement in between the blocks now I've got the blocks all set now I'm just kind of smoothing out now that the concrete is set up a little bit now it's a little more pliable and as we work the, the cement it's getting stiffer and stiffer now while I'm still waiting for this mortar to set up and I decide I'm going to go ahead and wire up this receptacle inside here. Now the mortar set up pretty good. And what I do is just kind of feather it off the brick. And kind of put a nice seam across the top. I have a damp cloth. You can see how I can clean off the glasses roll. It does a very nice job. Nice and beautiful. Okay, we have the outside done. Now I'm going to go ahead and take time here to grout the inside, as you can see. And I do have a bunch of cement left, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a small coat maybe quarter inch thick across the bottom here to use that up. We have all the 
cement put in the inside, the outside of the glass. It's all done and beautiful. And now you can see what it looks like from the bottom the whole way up to the top. Next, we're going to stick on the number plate on the front. The plate up here, and that is what it's going to look like. Okay, we got the holes drilled here, over here, and on this side after we set that up and leveled it up and put it where we wanted use a masonry bit and then take and pound these little inserts into the stone that way it expands when you put the put the plate up here and that is what it's going to look like and it is complete then we went ahead and got the top cap laid up on top there and kind of seals across the top really nice okay here's the flag we're gonna put in here went to the hardware store and spent about five bucks and I'm gonna use two screws I'm gonna drill a hole with with this bit into the concrete I'm just gonna drill through there like that now we'll go ahead and insert this plastic Next, I went ahead and put a little rubber washer inside there. What I ended up getting was a washer for a spigot. That way I know the rubber is going to last out in the elements. There you have it, the flag's installed and we're sending out some mail here today. And thank you for watching and hopefully you learned something. And now my wife is so excited, we have the most beautiful Masonary mailbox. Now make sure you click on this link to see the beautifully transformed curb appeal that your new mailbox adds to your home and neighborhood with the finished work of landscape.